Hey everybody, in this lesson we will see the implementation of an event bus or to be more precise, the implementation of the auto library. First, let's see how this model for the event bus works. Here we have a publish subscribe pattern. As you see in the demo we created the bus station from where we publish things to go. This station dispatches buses. Of course, real bus consists of people. But in our case, let's just imagine that we will be transporting messages. OK. So the bus is traveling and suddenly it reaches to a first bus stop. In Android demo, it will be a fragment. But what is the catch here? This bus will not dispatch a message to this bus stop because it is not marked for receiving messages. As you see in the demo in fragment 1 it says not subscribed, meaning that it will not receive the message. Only the fragments that subscribe for receiving messages will receive them. And now the bus continues traveling until it reaches to the second bus stop or fragment 2 in our case. This time inside fragment 2 we have annotation saying subscribed. So in this case bus stop or fragment will receive the message and the bus goes on. So now let's see this implementation in code shall we. So this is our setup. We have two fragments in which we have a text view that will show the received message. At the bottom of the screen there is an edit text in which we type our message. And next to it is a button for starting the event bus. Ok, so in my main activity I have reference on this edit text button and fragment manager and I also set on click listener for this button. In fragments there are references to the text views. First let's create our bus station. So here we will need a new instance of the bus. So type in private static bus bus equals new bus. Additionally, we need the way to access this bus from other classes and we can do it by creating a getter for the bus. So create a getter and that's all for the bus station. Our bus will transport a message as we previously said, so create a new class called the message. Here we just need a string that will be the actual message and just create a constructor for the message as well as the getter in order to be able to read the message. Then on our button in the main activity we will call our bus station and dispatch a bus with a message. So type in busstation.getbus.post and here we create a new instance of object message, so new message, and here we type the actual message. We will type the value of an edit text, of course. Then, as I mentioned earlier, the message will be received on the fragments that subscribe for receiving messages. So, before we attach our subscription, first we need to register our bus into the fragment and we will do that in onResume method because it is called when the fragment is created and simply unregister it when it is in on pause state. Now we come to subscribe annotation. There is a rule that needs to be followed. First we type annotation subscribe okay, and after that we must create a method and that method must be public and it must be void. So public void received message, you can name it anything you like. But the important thing is that its parameter needs to be an object that is being transported. 
so in our case that is an object message so type in message and message after that simply apply the received message to the text view remember to use message.getMessage method okay we will just copy this code and paste it in fragment 2 so that both fragments will receive the message all right now we can fire up the emulator here we will just type our message so this is a test click on send and as shown the message has been transmitted to the fragments that's all from me see you next time bye bye